Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and thank you and welcome back and thank you to everybody who's been following me on this journey where I started in 2019, stating out loud for my New Year's resolution that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt, followed by a weekly video every week, which I did and I'm still doing, three and a half year mark, woohoo! And um, 2020 was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself and others, and I'm still working on that and still doing that. And 2021 was to break up with processed sugar, which was really hard by myself and on my own. But right now I am, I had to write this down because I'm so bad at remembering the day, but 42 days without sugar, wheat, flour, and caffeine, which it is not terrible and it doesn't suck. And I thought it was going to. I think that's why I waited so long to do this. And then for this year, 2022, Part of my New Year's resolution is my New Year's resolution is to attach an income to to a job of what I do, which I'm still, you guys, I'm still figuring out. I contacted branding, marketing people, and for a web page, for a website. So I'm I'm working on this stuff. It doesn't happen quickly. And um that's very difficult for me because patience is not one of my strong points. I wanted everything yesterday, sooner, quicker, faster. And, and what I keep being taught and shown is everything is a process and it takes time and it's not necessarily on my time, it's on God's time. And um, I learned a new word this week, convalescing. So I'm convalescing. I hope I'm saying that right, but I was healing from my car accident and that was at the almost end of 2019. And it was the first time in my life that I could not suck it up anymore, which was huge. It was the first time in my life that I finally said, mercy, and I can't do this. And let me tell you what, not having a job is more of a job than working ever was. Just so you know, not physically working right now has been the hardest job of my life. And I know I'm being trained and preparing for what I'm gonna do next and I'm figuring it out as I go. And I know speaking out loud and talking to people is definitely part of that. And I also learned another thing. I don't know if you guys ever heard the expression, hurt people hurt people. And um, I heard another one, healed people heal people. And I am a healer. And one of the reasons why I'm able to help other people heal is because I've been healing. And I would love to say I'm healed, I'm perfect, I'm great. I am still healing and all, all kinds of stuff. And last week I was telling you guys, I've been working with a girlfriend working on our mother issues. And I read, not I don't wanna say read, I listen, 
but reading, listening to this book called Mother Hunger and Holy Moly. It was so validating and confirming. And they ask you when you listen to this book or if you read this book, it's for mothers and daughters, but they ask that you listen to it as a daughter and not a mother. And um, it was, it was really nice and comforting. And also it's like being read to. And, and the woman, I think it's Kelly McDaniel, her voice is love. And besides just her words, her tone of voice is pure love. And it's so nice to get validated and to have confirmation and permission about things that have happened and um, that's what I'm realizing. Part of my job is, and you know, I'm putting this job together and I don't know what it is yet, but part of my job is to help give other people permission and validation to be where you are, to not harm or hurt yourself. And that is what I needed. That's what I wanted. And it is so nice to have validation that you're doing a good job and you're on the right track and you're not going to do it wrong and you can't screw it up and also permission permission to rest permission to heal permission not to do anything i was brought up you do 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 and go 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 and yes it is so nice to give and it is so nice to do and it's so nice to keep going. But I also was using that as a way to escape myself and avoid my life. And I didn't know it when I was doing it. Nobody knows it. But until you have time to stop and slow down. And one of the things is what I've learned and what has happened to me and for me is God does for us what we cannot do for ourselves. So when you're in a situation that isn't good for you and you cannot get yourself out of it, something will intervene and remove you from the situation. It's usually God. It is God, but not everybody believes in God. So whoever you believe in, and you don't even have to believe in God, but usually if you're at a job and you hate it and it is killing you and you're having panic attacks, your position will get eliminated, you'll get fired, you'll get laid off. Something will happen if you cannot get yourself out of it. And that has been my experience for a lot of things that aren't good for me. When I cannot get myself out of it, it will be done for me. And a lot of times I need to have things done for me because I couldn't do it. And I'm learning that I can do it and I am doing it and I am not staying in situations that aren't good for me for as long as I used to. Not that I don't get into bad situations and my life is perfect. And I do wanna tell you guys two things. I forgot to tell you, I, I've been on my antidepressant for three weeks and I am starting to feel better. So I really do think it is helping. And the other thing is I went to the hematologist and I had high ferritin. I didn't even know what this stuff was, but I thought it was really, really high iron. And I think it is, but what it was is from chronic pain and chronic inflammation, and it raises your blood cell from it. So I have physical proof of what is going on in my body. Cause a lot of times what happens is you can't see it, but I feel it and I know it's there and I hate complaining about it. And when you're in chronic pain, when I'm in chronic pain, it sucks my soul. And I don't like people to see me when I feel like my soul is being taken from me. And um, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer or a complainer, but the fact is, is I do live with chronic pain it's not all day, every day. Some days I have really good days where I, I look normal and you're like, she's fine. There's nothing wrong with her. 
I look normal on the outside, but my body says otherwise. So um, just learning to listen to that, to honor that, and to be okay with that has been part of this journey for me. And the other thing is I'm turning into a napper. Remember I told you guys, I don't normally take naps, but now if I need to rest, I do it. And I'm learning not to feel guilty or ashamed that when my body speaks to me, I'm starting to listen. And I want to share with you guys one other thing. I was one day, I was so worried. It, it took 20 months for me to get approved for social security disability. And I had zero income for over 20 months. And I had money saved in case I had an emergency. And I had money saved in case my emergency had an emergency. And it wasn't enough. And I lived without income for over 20 months, but I was constantly worried and stressed about it. And one day I was so exhausted and I went to lay down because I had to, but I would obsess over and over and over. Oh my God, am I going to lose my house? Am I going to ruin my credit? And I went to lay down and take a nap. And when I woke up from my nap was a message from my girlfriend of how I could save $50 off of my cable bill. And it was a gift and a miracle and, and it worked and I was able to get that for a year. But what happened is when my answer came in, I was resting and taking care of myself. I wasn't forcing things to happen. I was honoring my body because I had to and I still got a positive answer and result that I didn't have to work on. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching, who's continuing to watch. And um, I will see you all next week. Stay safe, stay tuned. This is your sign signing off. Thanks. <laughs>